Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Tuesday afternoon. Monday's become Tuesday, I'm getting a bit confused with the world in terms of dates, but never mind. Um, here we are, so last week I was chatting to you about running. Uh, we were looking at foot strength, if you remember, and we were looking at how to strengthen those feet and get rid of bunions. So if you're not a runner, we're looking at bunions. If you're a runner, we're looking at how foot strength is really important in the, in the way you run. So I'm going to carry on with my running theme uh, for those runners out there. But of course, this is completely relevant to everybody else as well. And it's not going to be a long one tonight because my dinner's ready. We've got pizza. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be great. The boys have been cooking. Excellent. So I'm hoping it's going to be super yummy. So super quick one for you today. And this is really one of my clients got really confused about this. I've been doing a lot of running analysis um, this week. And what I've noticed with a lot of runners um, is that they tend to be quite static in their upper body. Now, if you're not a runner, this is still relevant, okay, because we're going to talk about walking and running and how important it is to get rotation in both walking and running because of the effect that it has on your pelvis, okay, and this is really important. So if I try and demonstrate, if I hold myself rigid and I try and walk and not rotate, I put a lot of pressure through my pelvis because nothing can, nothing can move, so I tend to I tend to waddle then, I tend to lean, I tend to drop from side to side because in order to, to walk, to move, to transfer my weight from one foot to another, I have to get an element of rotation in order to do it. So as I walk, I'm going to exaggerate it, but you should get this sort of twist as you go, okay? Uh, I'm not on a catwalk, so I'm not completely exaggerating it, but basically you want a bit of rotation. Now exactly the same in running, okay? If you try and run with a static upper body, you're not going to be very efficient. You're not going to be able to switch on your glutes. You're not going to be able to rotate at your pelvis. Okay, so you're going to weaken yourself um, quite badly and cause some really interesting biomechanical problems through the lower and in fact the upper body. So if you're running, we're doing this. In the same way as if we're walking, we're doing this. It's going to stop you doing this when you run. And it's going to allow this joint, I'm going to bring Sid over, the other one said you can do it, it allows this joint here, this is your, called your sacroiliac joint, and it's actually really important that it moves. If it moves, your spine articulates properly. If it sticks and becomes sticky, your pelvis tends to twist, and a twisted pelvis is not good in, in any sport or any, any normal action of the day. So by rotating, we actually get a bit of movement through this SI joint. If we don't rotate, we lock this SI joint. So the glutes lock and can't really work, and we get a twist in our pelvis, okay? So we want to make sure, top tip for this week, okay, is if you are a runner, okay, last week we were talking about getting your foot landing straight underneath your body, so we use the foot correctly. This week we're talking about rotating. So when you're out running, have a think, am I twisting or am I running very statically? Okay, you want to run with a slight rotation on your body. So we're foot landing directly underneath us and a twist and a rotation. If you're new to running and you're doing walk runs, walk runs, this is a great time to get all this stuff in place, okay? Because you want a really good running gait so it's healthy, so you're not going to get injured. Okay, but if you're walking, exactly the same thing. If you're going out for your daily walk or you're older or you don't want to run, that's absolutely fine. But when you walk, a bit of a twist, a bit of a rotation as you walk, okay? We don't want this. You can kind of see what happens to my pelvis. If I try, if I rotate, it, it works as it should. If I try and walk without rotating, I just get this weird penguin-like hinge. That's not right. We don't want that. It's going to give you back problems. It's going to give you pelvis twists. And we don't want pelvis twists. So I think Ian's been talking about hip flexors this week. Um, this all comes into hip flexors. We want this SI joint, this joint here, to be working properly. Okay? So that's my top tip for this week. I'm going to say... When you're going out for your walk, twist, rotate, enjoy the sunshine. If you're out for a run, get a rotation going when you run. And you're going to find that you're going to find it much easier to run. So I hope that really helps. I smell my pizza. It's on its way. I'm off to eat it. I'll be back again soon. Do pop some comments in. If you need any help with your running or anything else, pop those comments in and we can help. We can tailor these to what you guys need. So let us know what you need. And we'll tell them. Otherwise, we're going to run out of ideas. Oh, what are we going to talk about? Take care. I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.